coming in hot. All right, so we have been asked to draw the locus of a point on the periphery of a circle, which rules in a straight line path. And we have been asked to take the circle diameter as 50 millimeters. So meaning the radius is 25. So let's measure 25. Alright, so this is a circle that is going to rule. Now let's divide it into a number of parts. Remember, remember that the more divisions you make, the more accurate your curve is going to be. In our case, we are going to make 12 divisions. So I'll stand here with the same radius. Stand here. Inscribe an arc. Inscribe an arc. Stand here. Inscribe an arc. Inscribe an arc. Stand here. Inscribe an arc. Inscribe an arc. I'm going to join the arcs to get my two divisions. Now let's draw the path is going to go along. That is the straight line. So we use a T square. These are the tip and draw a line. Now let's find the circumference of this circle. That's pi times two r, and that will give us one fifty seven point zero millimeters. So let's measure that along this line. This is a fifty. This is a centimeter rule, so it so it be fifteen point seven. Fifteen point seven, yeah. So that's the end of it. So we are going to divide this line into twelve parts. We have already done that, so I wouldn't waste much time on it. Mm -hmm. Fine, so we are done with the division. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now let's draw horizontal lines from each of the points. Alright, so let's pick our points B to be in this position. That's our point B. We are going to number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Back to P. Now with these divisions we have here, let's project them upwards to line three nine the line. So you place your Z square there. Align it with division one and you create an arc or a mark. Same thing with division two. Create another mark. 
coefficient theory Newton Lamarck. All right, so these are the marks you have created. So let's number them to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, we all know this to be our center, right? So we will stand at the center and open to P. So that's P. Then you step at 1, inscribe an arc on line 1. This is line 1. So 1, inscribe an arc on line 1. Then step at 2, inscribe an arc on line 2. Step at three. It's gonna have one like three. Four. Line four. Five. Line five. Six. Line six. Should do the rest. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and back to twelve. Now let's mark the demo. So you have a mark here, another one here, another one here, a mark here, a mark here. I'm going to join all the marks with a free hand sketch. And that's how to, and that's a side part, and that's how to draw it.